are going to have a grand conversation today about the book, The One and Only Ivan. Let's just review what we know about having a grand conversation. Everyone has a chance to speak. Everyone's focus. That means we're all thinking about the book. We're not thinking about other things and what we're doing this weekend or what we want for Christmas. When a person speaks, we all look at them and listen. We know how to do that. We wait our turn and don't interrupt someone. Sort of like yesterday when we were doing that poster writing and you had to take turns and you couldn't interrupt and stick your hand in there and start writing. We use polite conversational prompts to agree or disagree. Can someone remind us of what those are? I mean, I'll take up that. Uh, like, if you agree, you go like, I agree, but I, and sometimes you say, but I actually think, and it, and then blank, and blank, blank, blank. That's sort of like in a math talk, we put our thumb up, we agree or disagree, but remember we use these prompts, like, I agree with so-and-so because, or I disagree because, and we want to use those today. We, we do a great job using those. And then also we want to use examples from the book. So if you're using an example from the book, you might say, I agree with so-and-so because in the book, dun-dun-dun-dun, okay? And I have the book. If you need it and you need to look up something, you can do that too. So does anyone have any questions about what we're going to do today? No. Are we ready to start? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, your circle. So does someone want to start and start talking? Remember when we have a conversation... We don't need to raise our hand. We just sort of talk naturally. So you wait for a turn to jump in, but you don't have to raise your hand. I like how the author said that the animals didn't die. He used it in different words. Like when um, his sister Tag died, it said like she couldn't take it anymore. But I just like it. Especially when I, Stella I, died, it was kind of saying, like it didn't say she died. It just said they threw Stella's body in a dumpster. Yeah, yeah. That, was just, that, was, that was just really sad, sad because she had worked through so much. Sex. Somehow I knew that in order to live, I had to let my old life die. But my sister could not let go of her home. It held her like a vine stretching across the miles, comforting the stranger. We were still in our crate when she looked at my, me without seeing me, and I knew that the vine, in fact, finally snapped. I think the vine showed how he was, um, Tag was really, she couldn't let go of her home because she was really connected and she wouldn't, she couldn't, she just couldn't let go of it. I agree, I agree with, Dave, with David because when, um, Ivan's sister, um, died he had like nobody to play with and like so if and when he made um the stuffed animal not tag it helped him um it helped him feel better and feel like his sister was still alive yeah. um, he also had a stuffed animal he made it not tag so that probably made him less sad about because he all because he always loved his sister. Yeah. 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 Do you like the sea thing? Do you like what they're called and what they were? Why does the sign at the big top mall show um, Ivan is angry and fierce? Because he yeah. yeah. wants um, more customers. I yeah. agree with Aaron because like, if, if you get more customers, then you get more money and you can keep your business. I agree with nice player. Because it actually is true because how they made him fierce is actually pretty cool because everybody wants to see a fierce gorilla, but really inside he's really nice and that just shows the wrong thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I also agree with Ravi and Connor because like, it's kind of like the, like the perspective is like kind of... Um, like in a ape's point of view. I, I agree with Jacob because it doesn't really matter what you look like because the gorilla looks fierce on the outside but he looks nice in the inside and 
And we knew he was nice because he was healthy. I agree with Matt just wanted people to come because all he cared about was the money. And that does, money doesn't make you happy. No, me and Ansley have just recently gone to Zoo Atlanta and we got to see Kenyani.